Hi everyone! It's another beautiful day. Come and join me for a quick visit to our garden. This is the main gate to get in and out. It's a big garden. It's 42 by 68, so it's pretty big. It's a lot of work too, but it's all good. We get lots of wood from it. And we grow everything organically, so we don't use anything, any pesticides or anything like that. It's the best way to go to have your food. Over here, we have a plum tree. There is few plums in there. They're not quite ready. And then I have some tomatoes. So the tomatoes are not doing as good as last year, but... There is some tomatoes in them, but it's not just as many. We'll probably get some for eating and then a few jars to can, which is not too bad so far. We also have some beets, lots of beets. We like beets, we can them, we eat them, we juice them, so I planted lots. These ones are ready. Let's try pull one guy and see. Look at the size of these. Amazing. Really high in antioxidant. And then we have some bush beans. These one lots of flowers, so we'll be getting some beans from it pretty soon. Then we have some more tomatoes, cherry tomatoes. They're not quite ready, but they're coming. Some cucumber, pickling cucumber, and then we have some more tomatoes. These ones are yellow tomatoes. I tried some okra too. I hope I'll get an okra or two. And then over here, we have lots of carrots. So we use lots of carrots like for juicing and eating, and we share to some friends too keep them away so we have lots and then I tried some peppers they're not doing as good but I think I'll get a little bit from them we have some kale we have like three different types of kale I believe red Russian the Siberian kale and then this kind so yeah, we've been eating them, mixing them in our smoothies and salads, so they are really good. They're super food. Some chard. So for this summer, we haven't been really buying any vegetables, so we've just been enjoying the vegetables from our garden, which is amazing. And it's fresh every day. You can just go out there and enjoy. We have some more beets over here. And some mint some strawberries the strawberries are pretty much finished for this year and then we tried some turnip this year this is our first time trying them they are ready there is some turnip in them they're quite big actually and but as you see the leaves there is some holes so i think there is some worms eating them away we tried some celery too they're doing good and then our duck is here. So there is a spring coming down to our garden, which is amazing. The watering is, we don't have to water every day. So the duck likes to go in there. They look for food and enjoy. We also tried some asparagus. And we have some raspberries. And then over here, some marigolds for pollinators. And some snapdragons. So they are good attracting pollinators. Then we have our garlic that we just harvested this morning, Bethany and I. They did really good. Then some more kale. Over here we have our corn. Bethany loves corn on the cob, that's why I tried to grow them. They're doing amazing this year. And there's Bethany. She likes to get into the camera. <laughs> And then we have lots of parsley. We like parsley in our smoothie or salad. Then some basil. There is more basils around. 
And then these guys, these are called pigweed or land squirt. They're edible. They taste like spinach and they are nutritious too. They, some people said that they are more nutritious than spinach or kale. So yeah, I'm just not sure how true that statement is. But they can take over your garden if you let them because they will grow really fast. We've been eating them too. Then there are some more flowers. Over here we have some squash. There is four different types of squash. They are just all mixed together. Zucchini as well. I tried some onions this year, so I hope I'll get some onions from them. They look pretty good actually. And then we have some dill, lots of them. I let them flower so that I have something to use for canning. And here's Bethany again. <laughs> and then cucumber, these ones, these are our favorite. Pickling cucumbers, these are really good. They taste just amazing. Then we have some cauliflower over here, some broccoli, some all the cruciferous, cabbage, and then there is some more bush beans I planted. This one we started them early, so we've been getting beans from them. There's lots of beans. And then there are some more yellow potatoes. So yeah, that's pretty much what I have this year. And some are doing good, some are doing not too bad, but overall they're doing amazing. We've been enjoying them and eating them. So I hope you guys will be encouraged to grow your own food as well. And please, if you have a gardening ideas, comment it down below. Thank you for watching.